people. Hey, God, how does she have any manners? We just, it's hers. So. This is mine. Nobody, Nobody would drinking. dare drink uh, you know, her naked stuff. This is my naked juice. Yeah, it's hers. It's totally hers. So it's the same as her aloe drinks are hers. So it, it, it totally improper, but everybody, just everybody drinks. Basically, we do everything you shouldn't do wrong, which is eat out of the same plates, eat the same oh. French fries, drink the same tea. We had okay. We, it's one of these things. Actually, you go to a restaurant. Oh, I like the. I like that. So you eat some of actually, that. Actually, you know, see, part of it is, is normally on camera the people are like talking heads. Yeah. So we're doing all these things on camera mm -hmm. that maybe you're not supposed to do, or sometimes you do. Um, Politi like this. We're politically incorrect. Or like this. Okay. Yes, I can be a lady. In fact, I am a lady. That's right, mm. a real lady. A real lady. But for something like this, you can just kind of have fun with it because everybody's like, oh, I can't believe you do that. But you know what? We all know you do that. But yeah. Nobody's looking. Well, you know, you know, right? That's right. We, uh, it's just everybody does it. I've seen, I mean, I have seen major celebrities walk up to a refrigerator, go get the milk container and drink out of the milk container. And it's not their home. So. Everybody does it. They said, well, you shouldn't do that now because you spread germs. Well, we were spreading the same germs when I was a teenager. Well, see, part of it is, is I'm the only one that drinks this. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you that we, when I go into the bars when I was younger and you'd get the drinks, the bottles were being handled around, folks. Yeah. Now, I know that's not the best thing to do with passing on a disease. Oh, shall I call for you, too? Uh, no, um, here, here's one too. Uh, like, uh, it, we went to an event where some really obnoxious woman was complaining about a guy who was having a heart attack because <gasps> he was having a was stroke. He, a heart attack? he was having a heart attack. Cover your mouth, and the lady had dying from a heart attack. Cover your mouth. You know, <laughs> yeah. But that's that's what's going on today. I mean, when you're like that, it's, it's just kind of like. Chill out, lady. Yeah, you're dying. You don't really care. Yeah, you don't care. Right? But, uh, but no, we just we are totally politically incorrect, and we're you know we're we're uh, we do news. In a, uh, okay, I'm gonna try people. A lot of young people don't know who Edward R. Murrow was. They don't know who John Chancellor was. Howard K. Smith. I grew up with those people. Being um, you know they were the same age as my father, so uh, they were like they'd come and teach classes. I'm like, I'm like, College here, the USC folks. I also went to UCLA. I went to both colleges. They taught different oh. things, but um, uh, a lot of them. Um, you know, Edward R. Murrow said, "I don't care how you package it, as long as it's being paid attention to." Well, you know, the part of it is is it's to have fun. I mean, yeah. that's the reason why they have what the comedy club of traffic school, yeah. right? Okay, because part of it is is people understand that if you're having fun with it, yeah. first of all, people retain more. Yeah. Pay attention, but also, I mean, you know what? This is comedy. You can watch more serious news. Oh no. Yeah, go ahead. We actually have. But we're giving you a whole different perspective. Yeah, I think we had 500 and some downloads of one of the things that we did. Over almost 600 downloads on a deal that we did. 600. And generally, maybe you'll get. Uh, okay, you'll see something with one hit on it, and you'll see 10,000 links to that one hit because that one hit has been downloaded. And I know, I was really surprised. Actually, you know what we were talking about, and we do talk about some serious uh, matters. Yeah. It's about foreclosures. Foreclosures, yeah. And I haven't looked. I mean, who knows where that, that video ended up? It ended up all over the place. With that many downloads, people wanted copies of it, of their own. So, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we do, we, we get serious in a non serious way. We do very serious topics. I mean, most of the time you see me on camera, we're doing something serious. You know, I don't do the funny stuff. Well, actually, I do the funny stuff, but I'm I'm, no, but it, I'm it's her straight like, man. It's not the other way around. I'm supposed to be the straight person. Yeah, I sit there and feed her the stuff. I mean, we do have we do have multiple web series. I mean, we do, you know, cooking with Potty Spring Chick, which is a web series. We also um, do uh, we have our the typical bikini wearing girl series. And, you know, where I feed her straight lines, and I feed her the lines, she does the other stuff. But we are, everything we do, as far as what I tend to be involved, is actually off of a straight topic. If I'm on camera, it almost is never humorous. <laughs> you know, my, my, okay, my, my mommy's American Indian. She basically, 
Or that's my mother. I mean, well, part of it is we do deal with some straight topics, whether it's trade shows. Yeah. Right? And we're bringing you the latest information on trade shows. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, whether it's, well, 3D. Yeah. Pitch entertainment. In. Yeah. And Hot topics like alternative energy. Yeah. We, uh, we do things here and we do things in the other room, which has got a 20 foot sight wall on it. Mm -hmm. It just depends what we're doing. Uh, we also do things, we take some things really serious. If we're wearing uh, suits and things, we're really taking that serious. Yeah, actually, that's true. If you do see us wearing suits, it is, it's a serious subject matter. Yeah, and we can, but we treat it very serious. I mean, uh, you know, because we are both our, we both are part carrying news directors. So which people say, how in the world do you do that? Well, because they take it serious. We're, we're taken very serious. We're not taken serious in the world of um, electronic gaming, though. I don't think they're taking anyone serious. No, unless, I mean, we, unless you're a known gamer. Like, uh, for E3, we can't get through the front door at E3. They tell us you can buy a ticket. Well, we don't buy tickets because we're press. They, uh, we're not welcome at events where we know the people because Electronic game. Hear a word, folks. Electronic gaming. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. That's the internet. That's the internet. They do not like the internet and electronic gaming because it's the, the organization that runs is brick and mortar. We know the people that run it. We used to be welcome at their other events when they held them, but we're not anymore because they figure that we're responsible for the other section dying. Yeah. No, but uh, we we try to do things. You know, like I said, right now, as you can tell, we're 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 called we're vamping. If I had a if I had an instrument, you know, which actually would be this way because I'm left-handed. No, part of it kind of gives you perspective because people, you know, there's people like, who are you? Would you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> Where you know, like they said that uh, the you know that you would be better off. We got here's a good one. We've got uh, we're ringing in the hit totals at. Uh, you know, uh, maybe about 100,000 plus a week now. And you know that you people would do better if you'd get rid of that creepy old guy because people would take you more serious. It's a joke. That site's a joke. Which site? The, the, the BC site is a joke. Huh? Always has been a joke. And they would take you more serious. It's not meant to be it taken was, serious. It was never meant to be serious. Okay, I'm in a swimsuit, original equipment, man. Yeah. Original factory install, no, not factory it's, it's original a, equipment. It's original factory equipment. It is factory, originally factory. Factory installed. original. Factory original. And she has no tattoo on her back. <gasps> and her butt is either not big enough or too small, not big enough or too big. And that's I some, think that's a personal preference. And then somebody, somebody that, uh, okay, somebody that your age should never be wearing a swimsuit. Well, we've been in, you ought to see the competitions that we, we were in the Playboy Playmate competition. We ended up up here in the competition. We were in the competition for Fast and Furious Bait. We were up there. We've never finished out of the top 10 of any competition we've ever been in with her. I know, and you know, I just don't have that extra assistance. I know, so we, 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 okay, we know we can't win. The people, okay. the people well, over Playboy knew it was a joke. They knew it was a joke. See, part of it is we know that most, most of the times we've already selected a winner. Mm -hmm. So unless there's somebody extremely outstanding, that's the winner. Why? Not? It's kind of like um, some TV shows. Yeah. Reality show competitions that they already have a winner. They pick the winner. And you kind of have an idea beforehand who's supposed to be winning. In fact, um, some of the contestants have even joked about it. Yeah. They basically were told that we have to that we have to show up and we you know at the and the finals. That's already telling them that everybody they tell you have to show up for the finals. You know that. that it's like they know they're not winning. They're not winning. So, but um, uh, no, but most a lot of the people do understand that the BC is a joke, not a spring chick. Is basically the JCs. It, it, is the okay, J come on. Okay, now part of it is with a name like Old Cam or not a spring chicken bikinis are. How serious do you really think we're going to be? We're going to tell you, you know, we tell yeah. people every so many months, the reason why it's old cam and not a spring check is because we were at an event years ago. I was doing, first of all, I was doing news pieces all by myself, you know, one minute headlines of the day, which they make fun of on Saturday Night Live, uh -huh. when my hair is down to here, but um, we were doing a thing, and then somebody at the event, we were, you know, who's that old fart with the, with the, uh, 
with the green chick. And so I basically became, oh, okay, I mean, she became, she's not a spring chick. That's how it came about. Some, and you'd be surprised. We know people that do this. They got they, some guy that's 90 years old with a 20-year-old bleach blonde walking around to do this stuff. But mm -hmm. they said, well, he's using her to get them to do interviews. No, I, I, I'm nowhere near when she's doing her interviews. Mm -hmm. She goes one place and I go another. I, I walk the floors to see what's going on. Well, okay. And we'll give you an example. Like the last trade show we went to was a display. I went through. Um, two rows. Two rows. Little ones. Really little ones. It only was like ten moves. Yeah. And he went through the entire rest of the trade show because I'm talking to the people, trying to get a nice, we need an overview of that one. Yeah. Trying to get an idea of what they feel like from the trenches versus what you're saying, hearing from the organization. Yeah. But, you know, but so I did, I also videoed the entire area. That's how I'm, I'm, I'm going up and down every road, taking, doing this, taking, I'm paying attention to stuff. But she, she spends, she actually never sees the trade shows. She never does. I don't think she's ever actually seen a complete trade show we've been to in six years. Well, because I usually have an idea of what companies that I want to go to, and I go specifically to those. And what happens is usually I get stopped when I'm interested in some things that never quite make it to the yeah. other part. Because yeah. we run out of time. See, if people could hear right now, you could hear the ending of the piece that we've been vamping for. What? You know. So we've been waiting for that to get done. So that's from another web series over there. So no, but we have a lot of new things that are coming to you. In fact, um, one of the companies I just spoke with, they, they they want us to cover them in Vegas and have offered to pay for the hotel room. Oh, but different. <laughs> I, I would like to see her wearing a swimsuit out there too. She's worn their swimsuits and got a good reception in. We could do bikini coverage. They're, they're doing bikinis. They're doing a trunk show. I mean, I actually would tell the people. The people have been nice to us. It's uh, it's uh, it's Raquel Fashions by Seagal. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice uh, bunch I, I of think people. by Raquel of Beverly Hills. Yeah. But they're a swimsuit and gown manufacturer. Yeah. Everybody, I mean, if you saw her in the if you saw her in the uh, in the uh, real outfit, that was them. If you saw her in the uh, in the outfit. Uh, that she wore tonight to Hunter Stars. That was them. That was them. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, the outfit that she got was basically for a person, you know, uh, Sylvia size. And so what she did was she did the same thing that uh, that uh, Kate Middleton did. She basically pulled the outfit up. So it was a skirt. You know, it would have been a skirt. You know, <laughs> for Kate. You know, for Kate Middleton. So she, but as she shorts, so she just pulled the bottom part over her chest. And everybody was amazed at how elegant that gown looked. You know, it wasn't a, it wasn't it was another like, piece that went with it. Mm -hmm. But since she's not six foot tall, so, but, and we just didn't admit, you know, we try to get people in once a month or so, we try to fill people in on what's going on. We're going to see more animation. We're hoping to get that done. You're going to see a Bikini Czar web series, an animated web series, because I got the, we got that character all ready now. We actually got the swimsuits for we got, I have one swimsuit at the moment. <laughs> one. Mm. But uh, I have lots of cover-up, but once it takes a lot of work to do that. And I'm an old man. Mm -hmm. I'm a creepy old guy. So, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you in on what's going on soon. And now it's time to get back to Cooking with Not a Spring Check featuring the Bikini Czar. Who's the same person for all you people that don't know it? She's also the JC. For all those that don't know it. I know people are like, why are you operating under all those different names? Because it, they're all, it's just called nom de plume. That's what writers work under. She writes under Not a Spring Chick. So. <laughs> I do videos under different names. <laughs> yeah, we do videos under three names. It just depends. It just, I, work, I do things under quite, quite a few. Quite you do quite a few, but part of it is they're, sometimes they're all a little bit different. Like, like bikinis are, is just like, all kind of silly stuff. It's all kind of beachy fun stuff. No, okay. I, I, Not a spring chick is actually some very serious topics and news topics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I, I sang dance in movies and did cowboy stuff under another name. I also write music under my. I actually, they're all my names. It's just I was born with a, you know, as they say, a, an S box full of names. I got twenty. I have twenty six names I was mm -hmm. born with. And I just pick and choose some of those things. They're all me. 
They're all mine. If you go look at my thing, they're just down like that. You can do a scroll of just my names. You know, like, we're going, you know, I go, I get invited to good events because of my names, but, you know, we said, which one of these names do you think we should give them? I don't know. So, pick that. So, until next time, this is all Kevin. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs>